my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. Hopefully this is your new home, your new sanctuary. And for those of you guys that are coming back, welcome back. So today we have a very lovely, fingers crossed, message that I will be sharing with you guys. It's gonna be messages from our ancestors. What is it exactly that they've been trying to showcase, let us know, tell us? That is what we are going to look into today. So allow yourself to set the intention for discernment, for intuitive wisdom and knowledge to know exactly which one of these messages is going to resonate with you the most, which one of these messages belongs to you. And also, where this message should apply in your life or messages because there's many of you that like to choose more than one. So we have three card piles that are here for us to choose from. Allow yourself to gravitate towards the one that is speaking to you the loudest or the quietest and feel free to choose more than one or all of them if that's what you feel so called to do. Having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cards shuffled right and ready for you outside of the oracle and then I will meet you at your timestamp. All right, my love, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Messages from the ancestors. What is it that they have been wanting and needing to say to you? For those that chose pile number one. We have the world card. We have king of wands. We have page of swords. And we have ten of cups. Give me a second just to connect. Let's go ahead and see. Anything else? Um, so first things first, that's coming through. I'm getting a sense of like stubbornness, wanting to do things your way, which is very admirable because you feel like, oh, I'm hearing like the leader of the wolf pack and emphasis on the energy of wolves. So the animal totem wolf might be signi might be important to you. I think that it's made you a lone wolf and your ancestors and guides are asking to for you to reconsider um reconsider what though they want to contribute more of their wisdom from their learned experiences from their time that they've spent here on earth they're almost sensing that you're not so receptive to that you're blocking out their wisdom, they're, you're blocking out their their keys that they have picked up in their experiences in their lives. They're saying that they're meant to be helpful to you, they're trying to show up and be helpful to you, but you might be blocking that out, you might be resistant. This is why there's an, an a blockage when it comes to you seeing a door open in your own experience when it comes to a blessing because there's you're not receptive to the old ways I don't know what that means you're not receptive to their way that has been tried and true and that would apply but like a, a benefit to this situation now Some of you guys, it's I, there's this emphasis on like how admirable it is that you're going your own way and that you're trying to find, like pave your own path. You're definitely a leader in this way. However, having said that, there's wisdom to be gained by the ways of the old world. I don't know what that means for you specifically, but that's what's coming through. We have Hangman Reverse, yeah. Queen of Pentacles reversed, and we have the Knight of Swords. So this is information that they're going to lead 
to you, give to you, feed to you, but also someone that they might bring into your life that is has something who can that can help you. You might be someone who is resistant to a new like if this is new technology or new something, you're resistant to it. If it's old technology, you're resistant to it. You're kind of stuck in your way. And this is where they want you to loosen up your grip on the situation so that you can actually start to see progress. If this is connected to relationships or love, this is a different approach to relationships that you might have written off that you decide no that's not the way that i'm going to find love no that's not the way that i'm going to have my relationship look like there's something here that is admirable that this is how you want it to be you're setting intention for it but at the same time you might be blocking out a blessing you might be blocking out i just heard like locking yourself up so you're locking yourself into this room saying that if love will find me here but you're technically locked away. And granted, it could happen, it could manifest, definitely, but there's a way about getting out, being seen, exploring, traveling. Also, it just will tend to fall into your lap. They're trying to make it easily and effortless for you so that it does fall into your lap. If this has to do with work, there's a way of your approach to work and career that the ways of the old will benefit you now and i'm also seeing incorporating like new technology something that you might be locked away from or not it's i'm hearing inhibit so you might be inhibited by like your your perception is inhibiting how far you can go in your career in your work or you'll find yourself laboring you know, you'll find yourself working hard in this current situation and feeling like you're walking through mud or you're isolated and there's no one around to help you and that's not necessarily the case. You might be resistant to that help. Especially with the hangman card here reversed, this is spirit's way and your ancestor's way of saying that you're holding on too too hard in the situation and with the world card reversed this is how you hold on which is preventing you from being able to move forward and six of pentacles reversed is if you take if you take our wisdom if you heed our wisdom or if you ask us to give you the path be open to hearing be open to hearing the answer yeah two of wands ace of wands this is about exploring a new way page of pentacles five of pentacles six of wands reverse yeah they're watching you feeling like you're suffering or struggling in something that is that you truly truly want to succeed something that you really want to accomplish and they have a, a, a piece of information or a, a tool or a resource, something that they're trying to give to you. But it's almost like you'd wish to kind of labor in the present and not hear, literally you have judgment card at the very bottom of this reading, not hear a different way, not hear an answer. For some of you guys, it's not necessarily that you even knew to ask for this like change or this pivot or this key or this blessing it's something that was brought into your life and you're resistant to it you're not necessarily open to it because you're stuck in your way so you they're asking you to open up your mind and in that more energy will start to pour into you you'll start to see the effects you'll begin to feel like it's accomplished that this is working that things are moving forward versus again you laboring This is meant to feel uplifting, not like you're having to compromise anything. I don't know why. Yeah. This is masculine energy coming through. Yeah, eight of swords or eight of swords upright, masculine reversed, and knight of swords upright. So this is your will when you get stuck in your way of how it should be, what it should look like, how it should present itself, and that ends up kind of closing you off. 
And this has this starts with the mind first. It starts with the mind first over everything else. When the mind is locked off and says that it has to show up in this way, it can only be in this way, then that will not necessarily be the outcome, but that will be we limit ourselves. It, it creates a limitation instead of a limitless expression of all that can happen. Um, the emperor reverse is someone who says, my way or the highway, this is how it has to be. I'm the leader. So m remember how I said in the very beginning, we have this wolf pack type of energy. And you want to be the leader. You want to be in charge. You want to move things forward. You want things your way. If you're not, if this is not leading a group, this is you being the voice of your life and you really stepping into the role of the emperor of your life which is beautiful and admirable like i said however even as leaders it's very important that leaders have that they delegate and also that they have accurate information and the right resources around them telling telling them that this would be the best way and then the leader then makes that choice so are you open to hearing counsel? Are you open to using your resources? Are you open to working smarter, not harder? If not, then you will find yourself kind of laboring and stuck, walking through the mud, kind of slipping back, instead of taking that helping hand and allowing yourself to be pulled out or to build, to build together. Yeah, Hierophant, this is again tradition. So this is honoring the new, the ways of the old and incorporating the ways of the new. It's a new tradition. It's, it's funny that the ancestors are coming through as far as talking about tradition when you are the path paver, like you are leading the new way, but they're just saying that there's if you're open to it, we can incorporate both of our worlds here together. You'd be surprised what we can create, what we're what we are going to establish. Yeah, the magician card. That literally this is the card of manifestation setting intention. It's your magic, your perception, your vision, what you are co-creating with old school leadership, old school quality like how you employ your effort like how you um like your commitment like that's something that is stands the test of time you know work ethic or relationships or longevity or health there's something about incorporating the old way or old lifestyles or old diets or old routines in with current present time and then in order to manifest and co-create and this is something that is ultimately going to establish you even further queen of pentacles yeah eight of cups king of wands and page of wands so it's something again that as soon as you decide that actually even with the eight of cups i see this as you being you not needing to walk away from the old you taking the bits and the pieces from the past and from those lives that have already been lived those stories that have always already been told and gaining their wisdom and then the next card that we have here is queen of swords so there's a lot of wisdom to be gained like not only are you highly intellectual not only are you very are you very intelligent but you're also very intuitive and then ambition ambitious that's a very wonderful and very powerful position to be in. But just are you open, two of swords reverse? Open up your energy, open up the gates, open up your mind, and you, you're going to be pleasantly surprised as far as what it is that you will, what we will be creating together. Because I'm also seeing that the ancestors want some form of acknowledgement and recognition okay let's look at your oracle cards whoa guys look at the first card that jumped out 
the wolf spirit. That is insane. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Holy goodness. I could not make that up. I swear to you, I did not see these cards. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. And then we have bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. So this is exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Again, you have the ability to open up your mind to hear a new way. Open up your mind to hear the old way. And that is is gained through your experiences, but also the experiences that have come before you. I also see this in the pursuit of what is that you're chasing as whatever that may be, whatever it is that you set your goal on, whatever it is that you set your mind towards, these are things that is that you're actively pursuing. This is going to help give you an advantage in that. It's interesting too that you have the back card because this is the card of being upside down, topsy-turvy and being open to a different perception it's very much the hanged man energy so this is going to help you not rewrite not um not rewrite yourself but or set things up right because it's not that it isn't right now it's just it'll help you come out of the situation with with genuine wisdom not to say that you haven't but a with the wisdom and a new perspective that will help things to move forward. The next cards we have are Sunflower, Happiness at Hand. This is very masculine energy, by the way. We also have Oak, Be Strong but Gentle. And then we have Rowan, Control and Discern. And all of these things bring, believe it or not, a lot of longevity. Also, what are we focusing on? Think about how the Sunflower changes its... Um, direction based upon where the the sun is moving you might be feeling like a change in direction in your own life then we have wow rebirth and then renewal we have frog spirit here renewal and then we have spirit guardian of summer expansion also the sunflower is connected to summer so this is even more uh, layers of masculine energy here something does wish to grow I'm also seeing with the oak, it's like legacy, lasting legacy, lasting success. Are you open to that? And if you are, allow the ancestors in. And the last card we have here for you is Reach for the Stars Orchid. It says you deserve only the best, and this is all that you should focus your attention on. This is a blessing. It's a good thing. But at the same time, when you're focusing on your goal, don't lock out spirits, wisdom, trying to help you to achieve that goal so what do you do open your mind and ask your angels and your guides and ask your ancestors to give you new resources new information new wisdom that will help you that'll help you employ a new a new not new path but new newness so that you can achieve this goal now and again there's a, a merging of the ways of the old now with the world new i hope this makes sense all right my loves so i do offer uh daily readings um in bahati love notes so i will link that down below if you wish to subscribe to that it's 15 dollars a month now uh, until then, readings are open on my website. I'm more than happy to shuffle and pull for you or transit readings. So I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next message. Moving on to pile number two. If you chose pile number two, this is your message that really wanted to jump out. Two of Wands. Message from the ancestors. What is it that they've been trying to communicate with you? I feel like this is someone definitely coming in. King of Cups. Let me move this over so that you could see it. Star card reversed. Let me move this over.
what is this star card? Can you please clarify that for me? Ten of swords, yeah. Wow, the lover's card. I knew this was going to be about a relationship or a connection. If it's not about relationship or connection, this is about higher purpose. Things coming into alignment easily, effortlessly, through definitely through our choices. Number one, I want to say that there's this, yeah, there's this emphasis on not being alone. I don't know if you guys have been feeling alone lately or isolated or left out, abandoned, left out in the cold, hitting rock, rock bottom. There's definitely a perspective shift here as far as what any type of endings have been, have brought you are bringing you into your life, not what ha they've brought. It's And it's interesting, too, that they want to clarify the difference between the past and the present and the future. They, this feels like a thing of the past or energy of the past that we are asked to surrender, to let go of, to, to pivot. They want authenticity. Um, your ancestors are talking about authenticity in your life. Not that you haven't been authentic. It's almost like trying to, trying to, f almost like focusing on the wrong, f focusing on the wrong things and not being able to see something for what it is and then locking into it because you want it so badly, but also knowing intuitively that it might not necessarily be the right thing for you but being afraid of letting it go. And there's a lot of things that might push you into a, uh, into a space where you kind of have to let it go. And what does that mean for you? And what, what comes up for you within that? This could represent like relationships where you really want to make them work to the point where you might be giving up something that's more valuable, for example, your path or your sense of self or your ability to take care of yourself. I'm hearing the word disconnect, so you might feel disconnected, frazzled, and I'm even hearing the word dissociating, like where you feel like you're separated from yourself, from your from your body. You don't feel necessarily connected. This doesn't necessarily have to represent a relationship. It could represent your relationship with life, how life has been feeling lately. There's this um, gentle calmness that's supposed to be re-entering into your life. It's supposed to be very supportive. It's ve it's going to be very calming. Once something that is creating chaos for you, or not chaos, but um, making you feel unstable, unsupported, once that thing is removed from your life, you're going to enter into a season where a season of replenishment is what it is I just heard. It can hard to it can be hard to see that though when you're in it. Your ancestors are acknowledging something that has been off balance for a while. I'm also seeing a, a very good portion of you guys setting intention or I just heard them saying like be specific like be very specific about what it is that you want to receive in your life and make sure that you're asking for how things make you feel not these external things but what how you want to feel in your everyday experience for a portion of those who chose this pile there's going to be a separation in your relationship Or this doesn't necessarily need to be a breakup or a split. It could represent travel or you needing to go a different path or a different way because of your career, because of your path or your purpose. This might be giving you anxiety. You might have sensed it already, knowing that it's coming or it's already in the works. It's planned and it's giving you anxiousness. This doesn't feel bad. It feels good. It feels promising. And... 
it's for it's good for your future like it's really really good for your future i'm also hearing don't be afraid of all that can happen in the future sometimes we stay in certain situations because we don't want to say goodbye and we forget to be excited about where we're being led where spirit will take us so they're wanting you to be very excited about new chapters and new doors opening in your life even if that means that you have to say goodbye to something that it is that is you feel very close to you feel very bonded to okay i want to focus on this king of cups energy can you clarify the king of cups for me please yeah queen of swords and temperance card reversed the lovers four of swords yeah king of cups is here again of course the death card page of cups reversed and the hierophant so again yeah they're bringing up um knowing that there's going to be some great transition that is that you're preparing for in your life it's going to be a a, a rebirth a fresh start a, a change i feel like um this is like knowing that you need to go on a trip or a journey and just choosing not to pack your bags until the very last minute because you're unsure of what this journey will hold for you however if we could fast forward to the future you would be so happy that you went on this trip that you did this thing that you honored this path so your ancestors are almost giving you permission to wait until the last minute if anything they want to tell you to be excited about the future even if you can't even if you're not there yet there's something about the the steps that you're taking now that are leading into the future that do feel promising there's something about living in like authenticity it's like if you say that you're happy but you don't necessarily feel like you're happy like you know that things around you are good but you don't necessarily enjoy them so much this is when what you say reflects what you mean and also reflects how you genuinely truthfully feel and it's not that you are trying to intentionally not speak the truth or or be deceiving because it's not deception it's it's just that you might you might not want to ad admit something about how you're feeling about the present let me see if there's anything else that comes up i just want to say too that there feels like this like grandmother spirit yeah ace of cups that understands what you're going through right now because they've lived through it it's like a maternal like a very elder maternal figure that understands completely yeah guys look we have the moon card here the eight of cups six of wands and ace of cups this is about moving towards something means moving away from something that is good for your heart that's good for your your stress like stress levels like how like making something normal like this should be like your your peaceful state like a peaceful state should be your normal and this ancestor specifically is talking about the time in their life where they had to walk away from something someone or they were tolerating something saying that they were happy but not necessarily believing it almost like when you say that something is one way and then your eyes kind of cloud over they kind of glaze over it's not that you're being deceitful or it's not that you're not telling the truth i just think that a part of you might have been disconnected remember actually i'm i'm being i'm re being reminded of the word dissociated i'm pretty sure this was the pile that had the word just now dissociated it's like a glazed over look or feeling disconnected from life, from yourself, from relationships. It could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of things that are just dissociating you. There's, um, yeah, King of Wands. They also want to say that there's going to be something about, um, 
for some of you guys, I've actually just heard like you're getting new shoes or getting new, new like the symbolism of getting new shoes to represent the start of this fresh journey. This could be also about like societal expectations of how you're expected to show up. And it just made you feel very disconnected from yourself because it doesn't feel authentic. And you wouldn't necessarily see it that way, you know, because you're just like, well, this is what I want for myself in my career, in my life. But it might be because you don't see all of the different options. And stepping away is going to help you see a new way right so let's say this is how you show up for your day every day you have perfect attendance and you know things are successful for you or things are working out for you but you don't feel attached to it you don't feel connected to it it doesn't feel like genuine happiness so then you decide to go on this trip or this vacation living in this foreign land for the next two weeks or a week and learning a new way will give you inspiration into the way that you have been living, aka performing. And you decide that I would actually be better off here, or I would be better off a fresh start. I would be better off. There's something here about our sense of duty and obligation. And I'm this ancestor is saying that they can relate to that. They're helping you ch choose a different way or ch um, walk down a different path and then finding life again, finding vitality, finding enthusiasm, excitement again, instead of the way that it has been done again, 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 again. Okay, let's look at your oracle cards. Also, I don't know if I necessarily see it as completely discarding your success or your relationship or your current i see it as you taking in bits and pieces of what you've learned right okay wow yeah so we have river stream flowing and evolving is the next oracle card for you we have aspen shed the old and then we have lake and pond spirit is about So this card was reversed. So I feel like, again, this is signaling that dissociation that is that you've been feeling where you might feel disconnected from yourself, from your higher self, from your angels and your guides. Sometimes where it is that we're being led to go is something that feels completely opposite of what is that we were expecting or hoping but it ends up being the best thing for us it's so refreshing look at these cards here there's so much clear clean crisp air that is i'm feeling with all of these cards and i feel like that's what you're meant to experience what you're meant to feel what is it that you're being asked to let go of with shed the old here what is it that you've been asked to let go of let's look at your next card playfulness exactly so this is what i believe is what you're walking into the next chapter in your life feels very playful it feels very cathartic it feels it feels very fun even while you're flowing towards that it might be difficult because you may be questioning what the future holds or you might be looking towards the past or what you would have to let go of or what you can't take with you or who you can't take with you as you move forward but i think you would be pleasantly surprised of what's ahead of you and how good it's going to feel it's going to feel like <clears throat> like this is a necessary like this is a necessary change stand by your commitment and then we have release all anger so for some of you guys standing by your commitment is getting called into question because again there's something here that has by you being so stable by you being so reliable by you being so present has created maybe some form of resentment or has given you anxiety or pulled you away from yourself and this is why we don't hold on to things even if we've committed to them even if we made a promise 
it's sometimes it's good it's very good to honor your word but not to the detriment of yourself and your journey and where it is that you're being guided where you're being led right now and this by going with the flow helps you as you evolve helps you as you are transforming and transitioning because if you stayed the same you're blocking yourself from your own growth or from the growth of the situation and all ultimately spirits plan for you the divine's plan for you let's look at the next cards wow we have buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide we also have spider spirit make your dreams real and then we have giraffe spirit see the bigger picture and it's interesting too because i feel like with giraffe spirit it's not necessarily about seeing the bigger picture it's also about seeing beyond your current into the future because giraffes can see what's coming way before the rest of the animal kingdom can so there's you are definitely co-creating with the universe here it does feel very beautiful and creative but also inspired and i feel like you're someone who is in need of inspiration and in need of like a pat on the back and saying that you're doing really really well but also Maybe it's time to learn something new. Maybe it's time to explore a new horizon. Maybe it's time to do different. Even though you're doing very well where you're at right now, life is also about the journey. It's all. It's also about expansion and exploration. And I feel like your ancestors and your guides are helping. This one in particular, I feel, is kind of pulling you away from things that you have been too committed to. and helping you to get excited about the future and what is to come. Because I do sense a little natural hesitancy. I just don't want you to be fearful to take that first step or to let go of something or not say goodbye because you have, that this is something that you want, that you made a promise to, that you made a commitment to when it's time for you to go in a different direction, a new way. So I hope this reading resonates with you and met you with perfect divine timing. Thank you to your ancestor for their wisdom and their voice for coming through so clearly. I do offer um, daily readings with Bahati Love Notes, a $15 membership um, a month. So I will link that down below if that's something that you feel called to sign up for. In the meantime, guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for being here. and. I If you chose the third pile, this is your reading. We're going to get the tarot card situated for you and see what messages your ancestors or ancestor has been wanting to deliver to you. When I said the word deliver, I actually just heard like a bell ringing. So there might be something incoming or something that you are about to deliver yourself. For everyone, this will be different, of course. Wow, King of Pentacles is here and also the Strength card. So first things first, when I think about the King of Pentacles and the Strength card, what my intuition is guiding me to sharing is, um, wow, it's kind of thinking, it's kind of giving me, it's giving me a vision of like labor pains where you, there's a point where you have to stop pushing when you are delivering a child because to push would be detrimental to you and that which you are giving birth to. And your ancestor is making a connection between that and where you're at currently in your life. Where it's very important that you do not, that you know when to go harder. And then when you, when it's important for you to observe, to watch, to wait and understand the right time to push because 
They're not trying to hurt you. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles is the actual push. It's the force. It's the blessing. It's the token. It's the gift. It's the abundance. With the King of Pentacles here, I am getting this strong sense about... I just heard self-sabotage, but it's you learning... It's you learning your wealth. It's you learning security. It's you learning your role. It's you learning how you are called to be, to show up. I'm also hearing in my spirit that nothing is being taken away from you in the pause, in the wait, in the transition. Some of you feel like if you're not pushing, if you're not forcing, then you're haltered in some way that energy is haltered that it stops that it can't be born that it can't come through and that is not the case it's about waiting for the right time it's about waiting waiting for the right moment and really listening to that call heeding that call i got a vision of someone just now like riding a bike um in a park like going to a park there's an emphasis on the fact that you chose to ride the bike and not driving a car to the park because it's about enjoying the journey and not getting to the final destination. Allowing yourself to enjoy the journey and to see things when you move slower instead of fast forward and blasting through and blasting past. Wow. Next cards we have here are Page of Swords and also the Six of Cups. Six of Cups was reversed, but it was spinning around for a little bit. It's interesting because as soon as I saw the Page of Swords, I immediately heard that this was an intention that you set, something that you're setting intention for that is due to manifest is what it is that I'm hearing. It's due to manifest. So the fact that you haven't seen it manifest or the fact that it hasn't materialized doesn't mean that it's not going to. There's just a wait grace period before it happens, before this occurs. To push first, to push before it's time is to sabotage, is to sabotage Ace of Pentacles. What you are growing the best thing that you can do during this time is to respect time is what it is your ancestors are saying that okay the overarching message that i just keep hearing them saying right now is like in due time this will come in due time this will happen and if you are pushing or forcing or striving you will find that you will create complications that will crush what is needing to develop, what needs to take time to develop right now. For some of you guys, if this is about relationships or marriage, it's about forcing union or forcing attraction or forcing things to work out. And we don't want that is what I'm hearing. Like, we don't want that. That's not the way. Um, for others, this is about a goal that is that you've set your sights on. I see that if you force this, your the your own will will snap at you, will snarl at you. So what does this mean, actually? I don't even know what this means. You'll find yourself in a situation where you'll be successful, but to a great to a great cost. Like it could be too much for you to handle. It could be uh, like Ooh. there's parts of you that still are evolving and maturing and growing. So like you might put your investments in the wrong thing or you might choose if you're if you yourself are underdeveloped, then your choices will reflect that underdevelopment. So let's say if you're a man looking for a wife partner, you might choose someone based upon attraction and not quality of their character or you might be bored with what if you did choose someone based upon quality of their character you're going to be bored with it you won't take care of it so you will crush you will crush the very thing that would have been a blessing i don't know why i said a man choosing a woman i don't that's very sexist but that's what came through yeah like you have knight of cups here reversed so the 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 
quality of your choices might not reflect. I'm also hearing that you might not meet the demand. I'm also hearing that it's not all or nothing. That's a very specific message. They don't want your success or your life to be all or nothing where it has to be all of this or nothing at all. There's a healthy in between that a mature, grounded, stable, abundant mind can naturally embody that you are working to towards right now and anything before it's time would be debilitating to your blessing. Whew, girl, me trying to get this message out. <laughs> Yeah, Five of Wands. Talk to me about the Five of Wands. I just feel like, yeah, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords. With the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands, what I'm feeling... Some of you guys feel like you in the wait, like waiting in the wait, like before it's time for you to push, before it's time for this thing to happen, some of you guys feel like you're procrastinating or you've been guilty of be, of being, of procrastinating. And that's something that, really bothers you. I'm also hearing like opinions matter. That's such a specific message, opinions matter. Whose opinion, though, is what I want to ask. Like, whose opinion? Why are your ancestors saying opinions matter? Like, the voice of the people or uh, other people's opinions matter to you? I can't tell necessarily if this feels good or bad or if it just is what it is. But they're just saying that opinions matter. Or that might be fueling your need to push forward. It's like what the professionals have said, what others have said is the time for things to do things. So you're trying to make it happen within that time. And sure, statistically, I don't know why I want to tell you guys this, but statistically speaking, yeah, that might be the time frame for a lot of people, but that's not the time frame for everyone. And you are on your own time frame you know you're on spirits time you're on spirits divine timing so if something hasn't happened yet you don't need to force it to happen in order for it to happen it will happen when it's due time and there's something here about stabilizing the current the current to help yep wheel of fortune so literally this is a card of divine timing divine timing and not pushing or forcing something actually no this isn't the wheel of fortune card this is the chariot card but it's interesting that i thought it was the wheel of fortune card the chariot card is about things actually moving forward but i do get a strong sense of divine timing yep eight of pentacles there's this the spirit your angels and your guides and your ancestors right now are speaking towards things working out for your for your betterment there it's genuinely like this is working out as long as you stay the course but what does that mean everyone's going to be different um it's like waiting for think about this person who has grapes and fruit and putting all in the work because they want to have a winery the grapes will ripen. The, the longer that they stay on the vine, the healthier that they are. We don't want anything premature is what I just heard. So what are you doing now? This is what your ancestors are saying specifically. What can you do now in the meantime to help you to prepare for what is growing and what is to come? It that That's not idle time. I'm saying, I'm hearing them say like, it's not idle time. It's not done in vain like this is actually a very appropriate season in your life of development so we don't want to rush through that if this is relationships this is getting to know each other if this is marriage or setting the intention for a marriage partner it's not trying to jump from dating into marriage or union it's about allowing both parties or both people to develop or allowing the relationship to to, to develop so that it actually does have 
a healthy foundation, there's a time and a place to get to know each other and not just to just feel the spark and feel the, the, the passion, the fire and just jump right in, which is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but let's turn that fire, that flame into a roaring fireplace that keeps the home, the hearth warm for as long as it's needed to, instead of it being like lighting a match and then that match going out. This could also represent your own. Yeah, storms. We haven't had a storm in forever. I'm so sorry. I get so, <laughs> I get so excited when a storm comes through. Yay! Okay. <clears throat> Professional Jess again. Sorry. Yay! Okay. Um, exciting. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um,. I do want to say really quickly that in this meantime, I feel like there's certain things that you're going to be getting rid of. Like you could be weeding certain things, um, pulling up certain stuff, de decreasing clutter, organizing, getting set up, dusting. I don't know why I'm hearing dusting, like just clearing the environment so that it's just ready to go. If you guys are building a, br a business or a brand, this is about organizing like organizing even what you've already organized to make sure that it's most efficient for you to start collecting orders, for you to start doing what you gotta do. I can relate to that too in my own life right now. I'm actually getting ready to write a book and close the shop down just to really get focused, to regain my strength, to regain my clarity, to regain my direction. Where are we going? Where are we taking this? What are we developing? What are we building? And that this is going to be something that I know I'm going to be the most proud of it for the remainder of my life. That's what I'm setting the intention for it to be. So that's not something that should be rushed or would be underdeveloped. It's This is something that has, for me personally, has been taking over five years plus for me to write. And I'm focusing in on it. So I closed the, the apothecary carry down, the shop down. Now I'm saying that because maybe this is my card, <laughs> maybe this is the pile that I should have chosen for me. Um, I actually didn't choose a pile for this reading. I was actually going to revisit it when it crossed my timeline on my YouTube channel. Um, because for those of you guys that don't know, I, I don't really scroll through YouTube. I've also just got distracted by a lot. Anyway, back to you. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a spark here of something that is ma manifesting, materializing, and your angels and your guides, your ancestors are asking for you to continue to take preparatory, preparatory steps towards that and not rushing this and forcing this past its time. Everything in is, and I keep hearing in due time, in due time. Let's look at your oracle cards. The first card, wow, is Stag Spirit Leadership. So the first thing that I want to say to you with this card is how capable I feel like you are. I almost feel like telling you that you might be too capable, which means that, yeah, this is going back to that push. You are stronger than you believe that you are. You are stronger, way stronger than I think that you might know yourself to be. So a push from you will make something happen but a push from you could also hurt what is happening. So know when to push, know when to labor and to wait. And what do you do in that meantime? You focus on your breathing, you focus on getting the environment around you prepped and primed and ready. Do not push this before it's time. It needs a little bit more time to develop, to build, to ripen so that things can adjust and move into place so that when you do push, it comes, what is, this is a very specific like labor pains right now, but when you do push, it's an easy transition from one thing to the next. And after that, it's smooth sailing from there. It's also something that clearly you've been building towards, clearly you've been contributing, that you've been adding to, that you've been not only setting intention, but putting, clearly putting in the groundwork. So there's something here about knowing when to release, when knowing when, okay, look, let's look at the next cards here. We have sunrise, sunset, new doorways. So again, this is something opening up. 
This is truthfully something that's opening up for you in your life. Let me adjust this a little bit. Saying goodbye to one thing or it's like the, the in-between between the sunrise and the sunset. So that would be the day. <laughs> yeah. This is how you spend your time during the day. This is what is going on in the day. Something about preparatory. Yeah. So we have spirit contact, sage. So this is... Of clearly, we all know, sage is a very high vibrational plant or herb, if you will. And we use it in order to clear the space, clear the energy. So some of you guys might actually be called to bless what is about to occur within your life. As And I feel like, I feel like you're being directed to to bless what is about to occur within your life or what is occurring in your life, what's about to be born, what's about to be, what's about to enter. We have palms, palm, apply past lessons. For some reason, I see this as reading the room. Like, I don't know why I'm, that's how I'm hearing it. I'm seeing it as like, Like right before something magnificent happens, the energy of the room changes. Like the total energy of the room changes. Wait for that. Hmm. It's going to feel like electricity. The energy is going to shift. Even as I said that, I have like chills. Okay, let's look at your flower oracle. We have purification, yeah, and chakra clearing. So there is this clearing out cleansing out that's happening right now that I that is shown up a few times in the in between it's how you spend your day is clearing the energy out clearing the space making sure that your body your mind your soul your spirit is ready for what is to come ready for what life will look like now and I want to tell you that I just get the strong sense of spirit saying like you are capable like you are ready for this you've been preparing for this this is your time but we don't want that to happen out of time out of order the next card we have here is freedom and then we have bobcat spirit life is a mystery and then horse spirit so freedom is yours I feel the horse spirit definitely, but with the bobcat, I think that there's a. Um, I think your 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 ancestors are asking for magic for you, even as I said that we have thirty three and the number eight here at the very top. I feel like your ancestors are are calling in magic for you, like real, real, true, genuine magic. You're waiting for like the spark. You're waiting for I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's like it's like waiting knowing that something is afoot, waiting for like seasons change, all of these things change and you're waiting for a miracle or you're waiting for something to connect, to spark. Is there a part of you right now that feels a little spooked as far as what is to come? Is there a part of you that kind of rears up when... You're thinking about manifestation and that's why you're pushing this to happen because you're just ready to go? Yeah, that's what's something that's coming through. I feel like you don't want to lose something. Like you don't want to lose, you don't want to lose this gift. You don't want to lose this time. You don't want to lose something here. But I think that's also needs to be cleared out because there's a certain level of like ease and magic that needs to take over to allow this thing to materialize whether it be divine creativity, divine inspira inspiration, divine intervention, there's something here that's very mystical in nature that is something that you're waiting for. So you actually can't rush through it. That's, you, you gotta wait. 
you gotta wait that's what your ancestors are saying but it it feels like when the door opens you will know and it'll literally be like taking off in the meantime we are prepping for what is to come because your senses are on a hundred right now you can feel that something is trans changing and transitioning for you and it feels really really magical all right my loves i hope this reading resonates i do have a client that i'm now going to begin preparing for so thank you guys so much for being here with me i do offer daily tarot readings and oracle readings for every month wait what i do have um a $15 membership where I shuffle and pull uh, daily or every other day. It's called Bahati Love Notes. It, I will link it down below, but it'll give you additional clarity into your situation. Also, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. There's going to be a lot more messages similar to this one coming, especially now that the apothecary is closed and I'm working on my book and I'm working on readings. It just keeps the energy flowing. I know myself at this point and whenever I shut the apothecary, apothecary down <clears throat> which has honestly never really happened um whenever i close that down it my energy kind of like refocuses and lately my intuition has been so high this is why i want to use this time in order to write to read um shuffle and read uh charts for my clients and use this energy in that way also this quote unquote downtime is very important for me in my own personal life it's a time of balance and growth. So thank you guys so much for your love. And thank you so much for the thumbs up on this video. It definitely helps, especially if it was helpful to you. It's helpful to me to show support of this channel. And um, yeah, I send you guys all of my love. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.